Samsung wants you to think that wearables are still super relevant, and while the Apple Watch on the iOS side and the Gear S3 on the Linux kernel side have both enjoyed notable successes, the real winner in the field has been fitness bands. With its EFA lineup of wearables just announced, Samsung is updating its fitness band and truly wireless earbuds while introducing an all-new sports-oriented smartwatch. I'm Chris Carlin with Android Authority, and this is the Samsung Gear Sport, Gear Fit 2 Pro, and Icon X 2018. The Gear Sport is a slightly smaller but similar looking version of the Gear S3. It makes a few key changes though, namely adding 5 atmospheres of water resistance and offering improved durability. At $349, the existing Gear S3 will remain Samsung's flagship wearable offering, with the new Gear Sport fitting in somewhere between that price tag and the Gear Fit 2 Pro's $199 price point. Samsung says around 50% of its US customers are after an LTE equipped wearable. With the Gear S3 Frontier targeting those folks, the Gear Sport is like a fitness inclined variant of the Gear S3 Classic. As such, it lacks LTE and also drops the MST side of Samsung Pay, meaning you'll only be able to pay via NFC but not at older magnetic stripe terminals. It still has the built in GPS tracking though. The big ticket feature of the Gear Sport though is that it is certified against salt water and chlorine and can be submerged up to 50 meters. Samsung doesn't recommend you take it scuba diving, but some added peace of mind is there if you're out and about at the pool or beach. The Gear Sport also extends the military standard 810G rating of the Gear S3 for increased durability. The Gear Sport is compatible with a wide range of NATO nylon watch straps and a new hybrid option with rubber and leather. Software updates include an improved caloric counter, new watch face collection, bundled apps from Speedo for swim tracking and Under Armour for everything else, and offline Spotify playback is now supported. There's room for about 500 songs if you don't install much else. You can also use the Gear Sport to control the PowerPoint presentation or use the rotating dial as a VR controller. Baked in Samsung SmartThings support connects you to the Internet of Things and Samsung tells us it's evaluating which of these features will be backported to existing Gear devices. Exact pricing and availability information for the Gear Sport will be announced soon. If a fitness smartwatch isn't really your thing, then Samsung also has the updated Gear Fit 2 Pro on offer, which comes in a small or large size and now fastens with a clasp. It offers the same built-in GPS, auto activity detection, 5 atmospheres of water resistance and swim tracking via Speedo On. The Gear Fit 2 Pro lacks LTE and Samsung Pay as you probably guessed, but it's the first to offer 2nd second by 2nd second heart monitoring, although the default is still every 10 minutes. The 200 milliamp hour battery will obviously take a hit if you choose the continuous monitoring option, especially in tandem with GPS, but the option is nice to have when you need it. Samsung says that using the default 10 minute heart monitoring option will get you about the same 4 day battery life as the current Gear Fit 2, or about 10 hours of GPS usage. Most of the specs for the Gear Fit 2 Pro are the same as the Gear Sport, barring the 30% lighter weight, a little bit less RAM and different form factor that occupies a lot less space on your wrist. Both the Gear Sport and Gear Fit 2 Pro are compatible with Android devices running Android 4.4 or later, Galaxy devices running Android 4.3 or later, and iPhones running iOS 9 or later. Pre-orders for the Gear Fit 2 Pro start August 31 for $199 with in-store availability on September 15. The Gear Icon X 2018 edition is much the same as the original Gear Icon X, but with improved battery life. From 1.5 hours in the original to 5 hours of streaming playback in the successor, the Gear Icon X has 4GB of internal storage for downloaded playlists and it'll get you about 4 hours of talk time. The charging case now offers an additional charge and can quick charge your earbuds in 10 minutes for about an hour's worth of additional battery life. Capacitive controls on the earpieces offer a range of options to play and pause, skip to the next track or playlist, answer and end calls, adjust volume and call up the default voice assistant on any paired phone. There's no option to choose your assistant, so if you pair your Icon X to a Samsung device, you'll be stuck with Bixby, pair them to a Pixel and you're getting Google Assistant and so on. Naturally, you'll need to have your phone with you for this to work. Gear Icon X 2018 pricing will be announced soon with availability in the fall. So that's it from Samsung at EFA 2017. Be sure to like this video if you have. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Check out androidauthority.com for more on Samsung and from EFA 2017. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Track us down on social and keep an eye on the website because we are your source for all things Android.